All right, so you're going to take your standard paper punch. We're going to go about a quarter inch up from the edge and pop a hole in just like that. And do that on both sides. All right, so the second step, we're going to take the two connectors, spread them apart because they're going to have to reach on either side of the heat tape here. This is the, the only tricky part, is you have to take this connector and slide it in between the copper. So it lines up just like that. What we do then is we take one of the rivets and we're going to take the crimper and we're going to clamp it all down together. So when you're done you shouldn't be able to turn this piece. It should be firmly firmly in place. And we're going to take this connector and do the exact same thing on this side. Alright, so here's another angle. We're going to do the same thing on this side. So we're going to take the thin connector. And we're going to slide it in between the copper. So you slide it in so that there's a hole all the way through. We're going to take one of the rivets push it through, put the other piece on top we'll hold that in place while we get the crimper and carefully slide that in and just squeeze it all the way down And again, once you're done, this piece should not move side to side. It should be in there firmly. All right, so for this next step, this is actually the finished product. We, uh, we're insulating and protecting the connectors here. So I'm going to flip it over, do the same thing on the other side. This is a, uh, a rubber adhesive that comes with... with uh, heat tape kits, very straightforward. We're going to put on each side of the heat tape one of these, press down firmly. We want to come out, I usually come out about a half inch and cover up all parts of the wire connector. Take the other piece and I try to you know, match it as well as I can. Press down firmly, well enough so that you can see the outline of the tape and the connector, then you know that you've got it secured. For this next step, now that we're done on the other side with the electrical connections, we're going to seal off the copper ends at the end of the heat tape. This is just plain electrical tape. We're going to wrap it around so that it covers both sides. And we're going to do that on uh, each side of the heat tape. Now you're ready to install your heat tape under your cage. You're going to want to find a solid surface, um, preferably not wood or carpet. We're going to take a small piece of this aluminum foil tape and I'm going to show you how to attach it here. Ordinarily you'd want to do it along the entire length but for purposes of brevity we'll do just a small section. So we're going to undo the tape. We're going to line it up on the plastic section of the heat tape. We don't want to touch the copper connector.
and you could uh, you could trim the excess off there. You don't need that much, but here you can see how we're securing it down. Okay, now that we've got the heat tape installed how and where we want it, there are two other important aspects to bring up. The first is you want to leave at least an eighth inch air gap on top of the heat tape, in between the heat tape and the bottom of the cage. That's really important to prevent overheating um, for the sake of the animals and for safety's sake. The other is you're going to want to connect the heat tape to a thermostat. We'll explain how to do that in the next video. The reason it's important is because unregulated heat tape can become uh, much too hot, uh, even dangerously hot. So again, we'll explain that in the next video.